What's up guys, Sean here, back to do another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to um, chop up samples, preview stuff, listen to your chops all in um, uh, Iced Audio's Audio Finder. I had a user actually ask me um, how to do this and, and uh, it was a, a really good question so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, of course you're going to open up Audio Finder and um, the first thing you can do, of course, is you can listen to your samples just straight through. Like that. And, um, you know, once you find a sample that you like, maybe you want to chop it up. What, right away, an easy thing you can do is set up guides. And that, that, that way, now when you click on any one of the guides, it'll start from there. So that, that's a nice way to easily, you know, have it start from any point that you want. But if you want to do even more, like loop it or or um, bounce out uh, your slices, I'll show you guys how to do that. And what you want to do is double click on a file, and that brings up the audio editor. <clears throat> and in here, you have a lot, a lot of options. You can uh, set up loop regions. You can normalize, reverse your audio, even um, set up. Uh, you know, individual start and stop points, um, and then even export your slices, and I'm going to show you guys. So the first thing you might want to do, though, is create slices, and then, you you know, you'll be able to export or shuffle your slices, because right now they're just grayed out. So, and um, if you click on that, it's going to, you know, do its best to, you know, uh, slice up the audio where it thinks that you might want it. But of course, you can move these around to exactly how you like it, and uh, you know, dial in stuff. And then another way too is at the same time is you can loop the regions, and it brings up a loop and start and stop. And if you just hit play, it'll it'll play this right away. You can turn off the loop. You can turn off the loop if you want to just hear it once. And uh, of course, you can move these around to where you know anywhere you want in the audio, like that back. And uh, you can loop it. And uh, you know that that's one cool thing um, is once you uh, also you know you've you've have those slices. Um, you can shuffle stuff around. But it's kind of a random, you know, thing, so you, know, you don't have a lot of control of what slices get moved around, but you know, it's a nice little uh, feature. And then um, you know, if you want, you can also export your slices so it cuts them up individually for you. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. And I don't need to save this because it's already uh, right here. You'll see it below your original sample. Here's all of the different uh, slices. And then another thing, you know, going back to the original auto, you know, maybe you you like the whole thing or whatnot, or you want to see what it sounds like with some reverb or any kind of effects, I can actually go and add my effects to it. So I'm going to choose like uh, the matrix reverb, and now we'll play this and see what it sounds like. And so that's kind of cool, is you can hear all your uh, VSTs or audio units beforehand, before you even have dragged this into your DAW. Um, but of course, you know, if you drag it over, it's just going to be the dry signal, um, like that. But we, you know, for an example too, I'll drag over just one of the loop points, or one of the slices. And, um, you know, if I want to use that same reverb, I'm going to have to open it up again, here. So there's, you know, there's the dry signal, and then I would have to go back and, you know, find my... Uh, Apple's uh, Matrix Reverb, or I could use Ableton's uh, built-in reverb, which is right down here. Or maybe, uh, maybe I want to use one of the 
the presets. And I just drag it on there. So that's basically it. You know, that's um, how you can listen to different uh, chopped up samples in uh, um, Audio Finder's uh, or Ice Audio's Audio Finder. Um, you know, that's just basically touching on some of the the things. Of course, this program can do quite a lot more. You can change your pitch or the key, the key of the sample. Um, you can reverse it. You can do a lot of uh, stuff with this program. It's a really powerful uh, uh, tool. But um, if you have any questions, let me know. If any of that, you know, you want me to explain a little better or in more detail. And uh, if you guys also have ideas for uh, more tutorials, or you have questions, or you'd like to see tutorials on other things, let me know. Um, you know, of course, leave me a comment, and I'll see if I can make a tutorial and try and help you guys out. And uh, thanks a lot.